This video will contain spoilers, so remember, you've been warned. Okay, I know I did a video on episode 6 saying that that was the perfect episode. And you know what? Episode 7 was as well. It's rare to get two perfect episodes in a show, let alone have them follow each other in succession. But we were gifted with that in season 2. Having an intimate episode with Richie as we watched him spend a week in the best restaurant in the country, this episode got emotions out of me that I didn't even know were in there when I was watching this show. But why was that? Why was this show able to draw emotions out of its viewers and create the perfect episode which was essentially carried by one individual? Well, I thought I'd break down and explain why. Here is why The Bear Season 2 Episode 7 was perfect. The groundwork before the episode. Now this was an episode that it felt like a lot of the season was building towards, right from episode 1 and then all throughout the other ones. Within the first episode, we saw that Richie felt as though he was lacking purpose and that he wasn't where he wanted to be in life based on the age that he'd recently hit. He felt as though he had underachieved in many aspects and that he was getting up every day and life was just passing by. There were no achievements and there was no purpose on his side. This was mentioned right at the start, it was present in many others, but it also had a feature in episode 6, when they went back around 4 years and we saw the flashback. We saw that even a few years ago, he was trying to better himself and improve his family's life, but he wasn't able to do so, showing that the sense of being stuck had been there for several years. But as well, seeing him at a time when he was with his ex-wife, happy in life and with a child on the way, his life was dramatically different. When episode 7 hit, we saw that he wasn't happy in his life. He was no longer with Tiff and he only saw his daughter on an arranged basis. Plus, it seemed as though he still had feelings for Tiff. So we saw the rapid yet gradual decline that the character underwent. Seeing him in earlier parts of the season just shouting, being loud and acting like a leader, it showed that he was just doing this as a way of asserting authority and making himself feel slightly better. Like he was doing more than he actually was in reality despite his mind actually knowing full well that it didn't change anything about how he felt about himself. All of the times that we saw him before the seventh episode, they were just as valuable as what we saw unfold, because it gave the valuable context and understanding as to why it was so important as we watched this unfold. We saw how he ended up in this position and why this episode was so important to him. The contrast in the character. Seeing the way that Richie changed over the course of the runtime was just amazing to watch. What started as a character who didn't have the discipline to clean forks and spoons, getting up later than his alarm at 5.30, but then ultimately transforming into an individual that was awake before his alarm even went off, had a spring in his step and was passionate about what he was doing, it showed that the purpose that Richie was lacking prior to that was now present, and he felt as though he had something to live for. Before the ending of this, when Richie hadn't started the process of changing, it felt like he was on a dark pathway and on the verge of self-destructing. So by watching his growth and development unfold over the course of the runtime, it was inspiring and extremely emotional to watch. This felt like it was Richie's last hope, so it needed to go well. There were clear visual differences in the character and it was a nice way of allowing the message and development to be visually clear. The way he was at the start was so different to the end, and if you genuinely look at the difference, it's incredible to witness. The structuring of the episode. The way that this episode was structured made the digestion of it feel really smooth. It was almost handled in the same way that episode 4 was, the one that was spent with Marcus in Denmark. We basically saw each day as it came, and the way that each and every one of them was tackled with their own individual barriers, allowing us to see Richie's progression and development happen as each day came. Days that were filled with success, camaraderie, and whilst feeling part of a team. Something which just wasn't present at all when he was working on refurbishing the restaurant. Seeing the day begin with the alarm clock, his journey to and from work, and the way that it finished with the quote on the wall that was ever present highlighted the true meaning of it, and that every second did count and it was never too late to change. The relatability. One thing that I thought served this episode well and gave it the legs that it needed to stand on and the strong connection that it had with its viewers was the fact that the core journey and progressive narrative that was being met was about an individual's purpose and also the lack of it. It's a battle that everybody has every day of their life, but it's just not at the forefront of their mind. To feel as though oneself is fulfilling a purpose and working towards something is something that everybody wants to feel. 
And even if an individual has worked towards that very thing that they wanted to achieve, it's then the feeling of contentment and being okay and happy with what they're doing too. This could be in a personal life, a professional life, or even family life. In fact, it could be all of them. It's a struggle and battle that each and every individual will most likely face at some point in their life in one area of their life. So this episode was extremely relatable in that sense, despite it maybe not necessarily being as severe as what Richie felt. He felt he lacked purpose in his day-to-day -day life. He thought that he had underachieved in his job and that he should be higher up the career ladder in his mid-40s. Plus, he was no longer with Tiff. She was moving on and getting married to somebody else, and he didn't see his daughter that much. There was that sense of unfulfillment in life, and it was something that was just heartbreaking to see on screen. Because that's something that people do feel in reality. However, along with the lows of this story came the highs and the success that he went on to have by the end of the episode. Seeing an individual thrive, get excited, and find the purpose and contentment that they were once yearning, whilst also realizing that they are good enough, was so inspiring to witness. Richie could just be a character on TV, but it could be yourself, it could be a friend, or it could be a family member. The lack of purpose and how it was handled, along with the relatability of it, was something that definitely contributed to the success of this episode, and why it essentially allowed the emotions to come pouring out, like, I was getting emotional when watching Richie blast out Taylor Swift in the car. My mind was so confused, but my god, it felt right. This episode of the show was most definitely a perfect episode. Everything about it just worked. From the journey that we went on with Richie, along with the gradual rise that he had, it was just the perfect story to follow. All for it to conclude with every second count being on the wall. The motif that was a constant present throughout the season, but it felt the most relatable to him. That hit like a stone when it did. My stomach dropped. He realized every second did count and that it was never too late to start again and build the future that he wanted. The discipline, standards, and pure growth of the character was just a pleasure to witness and it's an episode that won't be forgotten quickly. Richie went from being a character that I didn't really care for and actually found quite annoying to a character that I wanted to thrive, cared about, and was emotionally invested and connected to. All within the space of 30 odd minutes, not many shows can do that, but this one, well, like pure magic and the masterpiece that it is, it achieved exactly what it set out to do. It created another perfect episode. So, there you have it. Why the Bear Season 2 Episode 7 was perfect. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the I button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What did you think of this episode? Do you think it was better than episode 6? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.